Patients undergoing atrial fibrillation, ablation needs to be anticoagulated effectively to prevent stroke. We already know that continuous anticoagulation um, is associated with less bleeding risk as if you, uh, unless you use, uh, if you use uh, interrupted or bridging therapy. Now this trial, AXAFA uh, AFNET5 trial, is a randomized trial comparing warfarin treatment, uninterrupted warfarin, with uninterrupted apixaban uh, treatment. And patients were randomized to these drugs, I'm already, I'm around 600 patients, and the results came out equal. That means the bleeding rate were approximately the same, around 3-4%. The stroke rate was also the same, although this study was of course not powered to show any difference in stroke rate. The interesting thing with this study was that uh, the patients in a sub-study underwent brain MR and it was shown that a substantial portion of the patients, 25% around in each group, suffered from silent uh, brain embolism. So that gives us information that of course the AF ablation procedure is associated with an increased risk for silent strokes, but there was no difference between continuous warfarin and uh, uninterrupted uh, apixaban, even though the patients had taken the dose the day before and in the morning the same day as the ablation procedure. So that means that apixaban can be safely used in uh, procedures for AF ablation and if you compare it with other trials, this is as a large trial as the Resurca trial with the Dabigatron, but bigger than the uh, trial testing Rivaroxaban, Venture AF trial. I think that, that uh, now we can safely use Apixaban in the ablation procedures. So that is the main message. There's no difference between warfarin. And of course, it's much easier to manage with Apixaban rather than with, with warfarin, because now we are using NOAC in almost all patients that are anticoagulated. <laughs>